guys, my name is Brianna. Today I decided to finally sit down and film another video, but I have really been book shopping a lot recently. Um, I went book shopping I think like two or three different times recently. Yeah, I just felt like it was time to come on and show you all what I bought. I thought that would be fun. So I've got it kind of separated out here into some different categories. So we can start off with fantasy. So the first book I have here is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I've been super intrigued to read this book for a while now. I've heard a ton of good things about this series. And I also read Babel by R.F. Kuang last year, and I absolutely loved that book. I gave that one five stars. I thought it was super interesting. I thought it had really good commentary. Um, so I'm really excited to pick up something else by this author. And you know, this series came out first. I think this is a trilogy. This is the first one. This is a fantasy about kind of some warring countries. They're fighting over Poppy. I'm not sure if Poppy flowers have to do with their magic system in this book. Or the main character has shaman powers. They may be the only one to save their people, but she fears that winning the war may cost her humanity. So that sounds super intriguing. I've heard this one is pretty dramatic, um, a little bit violent, which I don't really mind. Um, so I'm really interested to see what else R.F. Kuang has done and read some of her backlist. The next fantasy I have is The Witch Collector by Sharissa Weeks. So this one I got on Amazon. I don't think that this is traditionally published. I think it's potentially indie published, not self-published. It does look like it's indie published. I've heard a lot of things about this recently. It seems like it's been really popular on Bookstagram and Booktop, Book Talk for fantasy romance readers. So this book says, every harvest moon, the witch collector rides into our valley and leads one of us to the home of the immortal Frost King to remain forever. Today is that day, collecting day. Okay, so this follows a girl who is about to be taken by the witch collector. I'm kind of assuming by the title that perhaps this is an enemies to lovers romance. Just speculating, but I mean, the witch collector and this girl Seems like that could be a pairing, but I've heard this is a really fun one. Um, I think there's maybe two other books. Not totally sure how many are eventually going to be in the series. Um, but yeah, I think it sounds good. I've heard good things. I think the cover is pretty and I'm excited to read this one. Probably like later in the year, the cover is like really giving me winter vibes. So maybe fall, winter, we'll see. Another recently hauled fantasy book for me is A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. And this is actually the book that I am currently reading. So you can see there's my bookmark. And I was lucky enough to get the first printing edition that has these stunning blue edges. So yes, this is what the book looks like. Underneath the dust jacket, let me just show you. It's super pretty underneath as well. It's totally white with this embossing on the front and then the blue kind of metallic words that match the edges like kind of the same color it is about a girl named freya and um freya let's see she's in an unhappy marriage she wishes she could be a warrior um then you know something happens and she's suddenly traveling with a potential king to be and his um family okay his son who is also a warrior soldier um his son's name is bjorn and bjorn is a pretty fun guy and freya kind of likes him um so we'll see where it goes from there about halfway through it's a great time so far i really really love the nordic mythology in this next up i have i'm not really sure what genre to call this i guess it's just fiction but it's kind of in that like unhinged woman genre of like you know books like bunny i could see behind me that would be like in my opinion an unhinged woman novel and that is one of my favorite books ever so i clearly like this genre um but this is y slash n by esther Yi. Um, i'm not sure if this is supposed to be yes no or your name this is about a woman um i believe a korean woman who lives in Berlin. 
I think, yeah, I think she lives in Berlin. Um, and she becomes obsessed with K-pop and one specific K-pop star. And this K-pop idol, her obsession with them kind of starts to take over her life and make her a little bit crazy and do some weird things. That's kind of what I've heard. So I'm super excited about this. Love a book about obsession. Love some unhinged vibes. It sounds like a really interesting time. Next up, I actually have a nonfiction. I honestly don't read a ton of nonfiction. I wish I read more, um, but this one really caught my attention and I've actually wanted to read it for a little while, but then I found it used at my local used bookstore. So I knew I definitely had to get it. Uh, this is Fen, Bog, and Swamp, A Short History of Peatland Destruction and Its Role in the Climate Crisis by Annie Prolks or Prolks. Um, yeah, so this is basically about wetlands and their role in controlling the climate crisis and just how important wetlands are and a little bit about the destruction that's happened. So next up I have some graphic novels and manga and I haven't read a graphic or I had not read a graphic novel in a hot minute honestly like I think over a year or more. Um, I usually don't read them too often until when I was at the used bookstore I found Heartstopper volume one which of course I've heard so much about this series. I feel like this has been a super popular booktube series like since OG booktube videos that I would watch like back in 2020 people were talking about this book and obsessing over it. So I definitely wanted to read it for a long time but I was never really sure like oh I should buy it now or like should I really prioritize this? I thought like oh you know it's just a graphic novel. I don't read too many graphic novels. Is it gonna be for me? But when I saw it used, I was like, okay, this is a sign. This is time for me to read this book. And you guys, I am obsessed with this book. Like, how did I not read this sooner? It is so freaking cute. Okay, this is about Charlie and Nick, if you don't know, okay? They are in high school and they're classmates and they're just super duper cute. They're becoming friends, maybe more. We're not really sure. They're not really sure. They're figuring it out. It was the cutest book ever. Cutest. And I found out that um, one of their dogs is named Nellie and my dog is actually named Nellie so I thought that was pretty cute and pretty funny. Um, so honestly this might be a new all-time favorite for me. Like I was literally giggling and kicking my feet when I was reading this. Like the best vibes, the funnest time possible, you know? So then of course I had to immediately go to the bookstore and get Heartstopper Volume 2, which I have not started yet, and I'm actually not really sure like what exactly happens in this one. I have not read the synopsis or the back of the book, I've not read this part, but I just had to get it. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna try to wait a little while so I can like pace out this series because I know there's only five I think out right now, maybe one more to come. So I just don't want to go through them too fast. I want to like kind of savor them, but I had to have it um, on my shelf ready for when I want to read the next one. And then the next graphic novel that I got was Saga. And this is another one I've heard about for quite a while. And I also got this one used. I figured it would be a good opportunity to try it out and see if it's my thing. because I am not usually a big sci-fi gal, but I believe this is sci-fi from what I know or what I've heard. I think this is about a family of aliens, I want to say, which matches up, you know, with the, the horns, the wings. Uh, but yes, I think it is a family of aliens fighting to find their place in the universe. Okay, that's what it says on the back. So it seems like kind of a sci-fi action. Not something I would typically go for, honestly, but I've just heard so many good things about this series. And I do think the art looks really cool. Like some of the art style, I can just show you. Ooh, this, this looks really cool, right? So anyhow, I figured I'd get it, try it out. Hopefully I like this series and want to keep going because I definitely want to read more graphic novels now that Heartstopper got me hooked into them. Then I have some manga. So first up, I've got Tombs by Junji Ito. Um, I have read just had to look for the title, um, Censor by Jinji Ito, and I loved that one. I thought it was so interesting, and then I also watched the little, like, um, anime series based off of some of Jinji Ito's stories that was on Netflix, and I also really liked that. I thought it was really fun. Um, I do like horror and scary things, and I feel like Jinji Ito, everything that I've seen from him is just so creative 
that it just really grabs my attention and I really enjoy it. So this one I believe is a short story collection and the title story is about a bunch of tombstones that stand in rows throughout a small community, which sounds super interesting. And I think that one of the Netflix episodes was actually based on that one. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it was. So I really wanted to get this one when I saw that. And of course it's gonna have some cool art inside. This is one that I'm so excited for that honestly, I think I might hold off on a while. Um, I don't know why y'all, sometimes I just want to like save a book. I'm like, I just got it. I got to save it. I got to make myself work for it, wait for it a little bit, and then I'll read it later and I'll be even more excited. Then I got The Girl from the Other Side, volume one. So I'm honestly not too sure what this one is about. I just thought the art was really cool. So I am going to read the back to you. Once upon a time in a land far away, there were two kingdoms. The outside, where twisted beasts roamed that could curse with a touch, and the inside, where humans lived in safety and peace. The girl and the beast should never have met, but when they do, a quiet fairy tale begins. This is a story of two people, one human, one inhuman, who linger in the hazy twilight that separates night from day. Y'all, that sounds so good. Okay, I can't believe I bought this not even reading the back, but I'm so happy. I mean, just look at the cover, like look at the art too. I think it's gonna be so good. I'm super excited for this one. Another one that Maybe I'll wait till the fall because it definitely has fall vibes, but might end up having to read it sooner because it just sounds so good. And finally, the last book in my book haul is Death Note, volume one of the black edition. It has black sprayed edges. Um, so Death Note is an anime also, if you haven't heard of it. And I've seen the anime before. I really liked it. So I decided to pick up the manga as well. And Death Note is basically about a Death Note, which is a book um, where if you write someone's name, they will die. And you can also specify how they die. And the death note was created by a death god and then dropped in the human world. And this boy finds the death note and he decides that he wants to start writing down the names of criminals, people who are doing bad things so that he can try to make the world a better place. Honestly, this book is pretty weird. It's kind of creepy. Um, and it definitely has some interesting questions or like interesting conversations in it. It definitely talks a lot about morality and like who's to say what is good or bad, like who is controlling that. Um, so yeah, it's just a super interesting one. All right, everyone, that was all of the books that I have in my haul today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe down below. Bye.